Hello there, and today in this video I'll be showing this LEGO vehicle mock I've made of a golf cart from the LEGO Movie 2. This will be a relatively short video and showcase of this build, and afterwards I'll give a tutorial on how to make it. Okay, it's tea time. So, here it is. Golf cart. It looks so cute. The design of this four stud wide buggy is a direct recreation of the one seen driven by Preston Business, oh look, there he is, in the opening and epilogue scenes of the LEGO Movie 2. Both scenes conveniently show the model at two key referential angles that help you, and indeed helped me to recreate it. This design of the cart is modified from the original on-screen version. Taking a quick close look at the cart, did I mention it looks adorable? At the front there's a grill panel with two headlights, the bonnet is created with the slope tile and two cheese slopes. The roof is made partly using inverted tiles and is held up via bar elements, two long ones at the back and two smaller ones that are at an angle and slot into the exposed studs. There's no window frames for this frame. The driver's seat is comprised of one brown chair on the left hand side with the steering wheel and gear stick. On the other side it's just a flat 2x2 tile. Also these wheels are just the small ones with smooth tyres. At the back there's a sack, just a space to hold golf clubs that is attached to a jump tile plate. <clears throat> There's two red rear lights and you can see how the bars are attached by clips above some cheese slopes. Finally, there's a 1x2 tile on the left and a 1x1 tile and a flagpole with a red flag. I like how they're used for dragon tongues. So my golf cart design, as mentioned earlier, has been modified from the on-screen design because trying to make this exactly as it appears, one for one, accurately, is actually impossible in real life. It reminds me of this one brick blog article a few years ago doing a comparison between the double decker couch designs for the official build and the on screen build, and pretty much highlighting how trying to make it as it appears exactly on screen is pretty difficult in real life. And the same applies to this golf cart. Making it 100% accurate is just not possible. Problems 1. On screen, the headlights are attached using neck brackets, and while they'll still fit, they won't leave enough room for the wheels to spin freely. 2. The front bars are attached illegally. 3. The tiles at the back aren't supported by much, especially the one with the flagpole side that's not even attached by anything, so it makes this kind of fragile model even more fragile. The solutions. 1. For the headlights, I replaced the neck brackets with normal plate brackets, with the front one being having the longer four stud wide front. Now the wheels are able to move more freely. Two. I inverted the way the front bars are attached. I replaced the four long ones with three long bars and having them be connected to bar holders attached to the clip tiles, which are oriented differently. As you can see, the size between them seems to be roughly the same and they're still able to be slotted into the exposed studs on the roof. Three, to help consolidate the back of the cart, I added in another layer using two corner plates. It does make it a bit bulkier than how it appeared in the film, but the look isn't too detracting. And it's, of course, more secure now. One last accoutrement is an accessory for the minifig driving it, and it is a bag for the golf club. It's a simple four-piece configuration made up of a modified plate with a Technic uh, hole, a Technic cylinder, a neck bracket, and a black Technic pin, which, when all put together, it helps to secure the golf club inside. And you can just attach it to the back of a minifigure by the neck bracket. You can also replace the sack at the back and rest the bag in that spot, 100% guaranteed to stay in place. Almost just like in the film. Oh, and in the film the bag is actually medium nougat, but not all the parts are available in that colour, so I just went with the second closest reddish brown. But you can also make this in other typically sporty colours like black, white, red, basically any colour where the main integral pieces are available in that same uh, team colour. So that's the bag, out of the bag. Wait, what? So that's it for my look at this LEGO build of a golf cart inspired by the design seen in the LEGO Movie 2. It's about three, almost four years late, and I've been trying to figure out how to build this since uh, I've first seen it. But only recently I've now finally come back to it with a close recreation that I think looks pretty terrific. I will not do that pun again. So yeah, now to close off, here's the tutorial on how to make it.
Thank you very much for watching. So long and out. Ooh. Hmm.